girl, just like now that Google app told the girls before they started filming, don't get comfortable because we're not even about to be here that long. I promise you, when I say that this episode left a lot to be desired, let's talk about it. people to have fun let's kick back let's get into a little tea let's not get too crazy but let's enjoy the sip clock that tea but let's get to the chi chi the kiki the the internet bull that's all you need some more <laughs> tea in your cup listen what the f is this? no because it ain't no tea in her cup we already know that it is brown liquor so y'all mean to tell about me that tea in cup. maybe do. they should have called this the aunt hennessy podcast Maybe they should have called it that. The Aunt Malt Liquor Podcast. The Aunt she Colt can... 45. The Aunt Corona. I'm about 6'5". Oh. oh, my God. I'm white. Welcome to see... She looks so regular. Like, again, who the hell is this bitch? She look extremely regular, girl. Like, you is giving one of the cast. And what the hell is this? I hate when y'all be wearing this lace type shit, girl. It looks a mess. It looks a mess. You look like a mother a handkerchief that belong on a dinner set table like girl absolutely not i know exactly who the f she looks like that's <laughs> now i know who the f she looks like y'all i have to check a couple people i have to knock a couple people out wait who was that on the floor he look cute even though he was getting his ass whooped Oh, that's my baby. That's not my baby because I found out he's short. That's about to be his name. My baby, but that's not my baby now because I found out that he's short. And I was like, oh, this is my time to go snap that. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, that just got me so excited. Wait, because I'm gonna have to slow that down because it looked like she clocked her. Like it was such a clear pathway to, to go. Girl, what is going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Cha 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 Chi Chi. And we are back for another young and reckless, okay? Another young and reckless girl. Child, I missed last week's episode. I did. I forgot what happened. I forgot what even happened, child. And I barely almost forgot what the hell happened this episode. Thank God I already got the screenshots available so we could get into it. But I promise you, we really not going to. I know I always be like, oh, we're not going to be here an hour. Girl, we barely going to be here 10 minutes because literally that's all the episode gave. Okay, because the way that they started off with like 52 minutes, then went down to 45, then 38, then 37, then 36. And now we at like 33 minutes. Girl, what are we doing? What are we doing? It's bad enough that we on episode eight, day number three. But what are we doing? Now it's Google app. See, that, that's exactly why they never going to evolve into being Zeus. That's exactly why they just going to have to get mad every time one of their girls go over there to Zeus. Because look at the unprofessionalism. It's off the charts. What are we doing with 33-minute episodes? We, this started off as an hour show. And it ain't even like they got commercials. Like, girl. But we're going to get into it after y'all go ahead and like this video. It's
okay, so the episode starts off, and I'm just telling y'all now, these <laughs> these screenshots going to be janky. Okay, y'all have seen the show, and if you didn't, then, girl, I don't know what to tell you. You join the Patreon.com slash Scott Santana, and then you could have watched it with me. Okay, but these screenshots are janky. They just up so you can get the point. Okay, get the point. But the episode starts off with Canadian bacon. Okay, because last episode, Ebony, a.k.a. Ivory, and that's going to be her name, Ebony, a.k.a. Ivory, had slapped her out of nowhere. Like, literally just went up to her and right up in her face out of nowhere. And the reason why she did that is because she told Canadian Bacon, she said, listen, if you got any friends in this house that's against me, then how you against me? Okay, so when Ebony, a.k.a. Ivory, couldn't get to who she wanted, she got to Canadian Bacon because Canadian Bacon was right there. So the episode picks up with Canadian Bacon having a whole meltdown, okay? Crash outs and they going on rants. That's exactly what was going on because she's sitting there yelling and screaming and screaming and yelling, talking about some, oh, give me my phone. Give me my phone. I just want to talk to my man. I said, see, that's your problem now. Always thinking about some goddamn dick. Ho, put your hands up. Put your hands up and go be her up. Okay? You sitting there worried about the wrong dick. Okay? The wrong dick. Okay? All that all that dick that was there on production. We're not even going to talk about the security guards. Okay? I was looking around. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Now that's Google. I've got the niggas like Zeus. I said, now wait a minute. Let me find out. That's where I got to go. Okay? But she's sitting there trying to get in touch with her man. And I said, see how that's the problem now. That's the problem now. Y'all be so codependent and dealing with abandonment issues and be all unhealed. Why are you trying to get to your man? Your man need to be trying to get to you. What happened? Let me say that one more time. You trying to get to your man. Your man need to be trying to get to you. Why are you calling him? He need to be calling you to check up on you. The fact that you got to call him and he know that you out here in this jiggy jungle, out here in prison, out here at this concentration camp, this prostitution ring, he should be blowing your phone up to figure out where you at, what's going on. Okay, but she's sitting there yelling at protection. Y'all better give me my phone. Give me my phone. Give me my phone. And meanwhile, Nug is like, girl, you better shut the fuck up because if they take my phone, and I said, now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Because why they got her phone but not yours? I get that. We trying to do the whole BGC type thing. I mean, I pointed out every time they do the lower thirds and the, and the logos in the corner at a confessional is like BGC. So I'm like, okay, I like the fact that they taking phones like BGC, but at the same time, it's like, how the hell Spicy McNugget got hers? It wasn't making sense to me. It wasn't making sense to me, but you know what did make sense? When she was telling Canadian Bacon to shut the up and she kept going anyways, and then she turned around and had this look like, huh? I said, Spicy McNug, you heard her. You heard her. So what you going to do? What you going to do about it? Since you big, bad, and you're trying to show off for of Ebony AK Ivory, what you about to do? Absolutely nothing. I said, yep, see, exactly. So then we get outside, okay? Because all of a sudden now, everybody hungry, you know, because they literally not not feeding them over there. They Like, y'all know how on Zeus, they don't feed the girls, but they at least pay the girls so the girls could order with the check that they get. Girl, they not paying the girls or feeding them, okay? So we on day number three. This is the first time we seeing them eat. And girl, it's Pizza Hut. I said, we eating Pizza Hut for breakfast? And we not even hungover and like just eating cold pizza out the fridge like leftovers? No, we ordering pizza? That's that that's a, that's what we doing. Oh, so I guess all of the money, all of the budget went to the, to the mansion. Like, I don't understand why the hell they was ordering Pizza Hut. They couldn't have ate some steak and lobster. I mean, like, it ain't like they about to be there for three months. My God, y'all got the Airbnb for, for four days. Like, y'all got to be that cheap. And then they was eating pepperoni at that. I said, throw the whole production away. Because I do not like pizza, but I damn sure don't like no pepperoni. Throw that sh away. Okay, Mel talking about something. Where my plate at? I said, calm down, hungry hippo. Calm down. Because it looked like you don't even need one. Okay, he didn't bring you a plate because you don't need one. Mel is very pretty. But her body is asymmetrical and it gets on my nerves. It gets on my nerves because it looked like she need to be fat, but she not fat. She's skinny. So I don't know if she got work done on her boobs or work done on her body, but she definitely had work done and I just can't figure out what job it was. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like her boobs is too big for her frame, too big for her body. And she be walking around thinking it's just the cutest thing and it's not. It's not. From the back, she look cute. From the back, she look mm -hmm. cute. And from the titties down, she looks cute. But them big ass watermelons sitting on her, mm mm. Mm mm. It's a one that somebody ain't punching them and they ain't bust and deflate. Mm mm. Are they natural? Maybe she one of them girls, because you know, every once and again, you'll hear about a girl who'll be like, oh yeah, I just naturally have like big double G's. You know, it runs in my family and I had to like, you know, get them chopped off. So, you know, I would have back problems. You know, that is a thing for, for a lot of women out there. So I don't know. I ain't trying to, you know, do too much. Let me get up off her before y'all get up on me. But they were sitting there eating this pizza in this hut. And I said, okay, 
a damn pizza party. We eat a mother like I felt like I was at work. Okay, you sitting there expecting a goddamn bonus on your check, and they be like, uh-uh, y'all, we having a pizza party. Congrats. Thank you for helping us all year long for all your hard work. Here's some pizza. Girl, they out here damn near killing themselves for a motherfucking slice of bread with tomato sauce. And speaking of bread with tomato sauce, child, here go the other girls, okay? Uh, the Laura Gavon twins and Sierra with no goodies. Child, they over there... <laughs> wishing that they had some of the goodies from Sierra because they were sitting there barely eating the pizza that was in front of them. Pizzas with red cups. I said, this is ghetto. This is ghetto. So we 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 drink a tequila in 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 pizza. That's how that go. Oh, they could have at least got them some Taco Bell. Then I guess it would have made sense why they were drinking out of red cups like it was liquor inside of it. Tequila and tacos, maybe, but okay. So they were sitting there talking about something that I don't remember. Oh, that's <laughs> pocket they was talking about how um sierra no goodies was you know in the other van or whatever and she just explaining you know spicy mcnugget wanted to get spicy she wanted to get heated so girl i got elevated okay and i cooked her and i was like okay okay and they, the twins dumbasses sitting there talking about myself oh well when you say it was is there a problem that i would take it as a problem and she was like no i ain't really say it like that like you know it was the way i delivered it it, it, it didn't come off like that and she's trying to get them to understand that spicy mcnugget was gonna have a problem either way because she was showing up for ebony aka ivory but they are not listening to that. They just think that Sierra No Goodies went over there and just started. And I'm like, she don't even give that. She don't even give that. Okay. So this was the whole thing of the episode. This was the whole thing of the episode. Houthi versus Captain Savaho. Captain Savaho was sitting here in her feelings. Okay. Instead of sitting there being inside of Ebony AK Ivory's face. Okay. Because that's what she needed to do. That's what she needed to do. She laying down in the bed when she needed to be laying Ebony AK Ivory down in the ground. You mad at Hoopty for what? For what? Oh, because Hoopty's the host and she said no sneaking and she she had all of these rules that they obviously not about to stick to once Ebony aka Ivory got casted. What's not clicking? What's not clicking, boo? What's not clicking? They got favorites around this bitch. Okay, shout out to Tommy. Y'all got favorites around this bitch? They got favorites around here. So, I mean, what's not clicking? Ain't you besties for her? You should know that the rules change. And the rules don't apply when it comes to Ebony, a.k.a. Ivory. So we spent the whole episode with Captain Savaho in bed, mad at Hoopty. And Hoopty's just like, listen, girl, you doing the most. You doing the most. Instead of being mad at me, you should have slapped her. You should have slapped her. Okay? She ends up going in the bathroom with male big ass is sitting in there eating pizza. I said, you couldn't have waited, girl. You couldn't have ate that while you was outside. You had to bring it upstairs with you into the bathroom. That's nasty. That is nasty. It's probably dookie crumbs in the air sitting there percolating all over that goddamn pizza. That is nasty. Okay? That's why your boobs big now. Nasty. I couldn't even focus on what the hell they were sitting there talking about. But I'm sure it's probably Ebony, a.k.a. Ivory, because that's all everybody want to talk about. That's all everybody want to talk about. So then Hoopty comes back out to talk to Captain Savaho and Captain Savaho trying to have her moment. She's trying to be cute and, and creative, talking about some, oh, but well, that's why Ebony AA Ivory had you choked up or whatever. And so the whole episode, Hoopty was like, who got choked? I ain't get choked. Who got choked? I ain't get choked. She did like this. She ain't do like that. Because if she did like that, then I wouldn't have known that she did like this. What are you talking about? I ain't get choked. Okay, she might have she might have strangled me a little. She might have pushed me a little. She might have jiggled my neck a little, but she ain't choked me. She ain't choked me. I said, Hoopty, you got choked, baby. It's okay. It's okay. But she said, Scott, no, fuck that. Because <laughs> she went downstairs and talked to all of the girls and she starts putting on this whole performance. I said, Oh, look at you. Look at you getting all loud and boisterous when Ebony, aka Ivory, ain't nowhere to be found. Okay, sitting there giving lectures to the girls or whatever. And Spicy Big Nugget clocked it. She like, Girl, why are you down here trying to give lectures to us when you need to be going over there talking to Captain Sabaho? I said, I know that's right, Spicy McNug, but at the same time, shut the fuck up because you're doing the most. You're doing the most, okay? Doing the most to prove that you are just like Ebony, a.k.a. Ivory. Like, you want validation and acceptance from her so bad. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. Okay, so they sitting there talking about all of that. She asking the cameraman, oh, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me where I got choked. Okay. And girl, they show her where she got choked. And she was just like, I don't know what y'all talking about. She might have shifted my wig a little. Okay. She might have had, you know, her thumb close to my, my Adam's apple, but like she ain't do all of that. She ain't do all of that that y'all claim it. And everybody like, okay, girl, well, if that's what you want to call it, if that's what you want to call it. Okay. So upstairs you got like while all of that is going on downstairs upstairs you got ebony aka ivory being sneaky and i said oh 
don't make me start liking this hoe because I always, always, y'all always hear me saying, if these girls really don't like each other, why don't they just attack each other when they're not filming or when the security is not looking? How about that? Why the camera got to be on you? And that's what Ebony, aka Ivory, said. She said, bitch, I'm coming to Baddies Midwest and I'm going to make you proud, Sky. I said, let me say, let me say. And see, did I? Okay. She went up into that room. She saw that, um, Mel Mini Me, girl, that's what we're going to call her because I don't know her name. Oh, Legacy. Girl, lip sync for your life. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> she saw that lip sync for your life was up in the room. I guess she was in there calling herself, doing her hair, whatever. Child, Ebony, aka Ivory, clocked the out of her. And here go lip sync for your life talking about something. Oh, she got me. She knocked me up. I was in the toilet. She gave me a swirly. Girl, I thought I had to use the bathroom how long I was on that toilet. Then I climbed up and I said, do I want to brush my teeth or do I want to jump in the shower? And then I decided to do both. I said, girl, you giving us the backstory. Just say you got fucked up. That's all we need to know. That is all we need to know. You trying to sit here and be cute and creative in the morning. Don't do that. We don't need no jokes. You is not a comedian. Okay. But what is laughable is the fact that she just snuck your ass and clocked you. Caught you off guard. Okay, had her crashing out and going on rants. So, like, literally, <laughs> literally crashing out, going on rants. So, Ebony, aka Ivory, ends up walking away and it's just like, listen, any bitch who want it, we could get into it. Okay, whichever want it, let's, let's get it. And so, meanwhile, you got baby Tommy. Baby Tommy is sitting there like, oh, who's everybody? Who's everybody? Who you gonna slap? Who you gonna slap? And Ebony, aka Ivory, like, how you? You, you, okay, and baby Tommy couldn't do nothing but just sit there, just sit there. I said, Oh, I thought you was big and bad, baby Tommy. What happened? What happened? You were sitting here talking about all this advice that Sav and um Canadian Barbie could have did, but why you ain't running up on nobody? Why you ain't running up on nobody? Okay, because when you were sitting there having a pizza party with the girls. With girls, with male and lip sync for your life, you sitting there talking about somehow, oh, half of these girls that Ebony, aka Ivory, picking on ain't even like that. I said, but girl, you like that. So why don't you go up to Ebony, aka Ivory, and tell her that you need that? But no, she just sat there real quietly. I said, oh, oh, oh. Because she also said on episode one, around the halfway mark, that she was going to be up anybody who was not standing on business. I don't see her standing on her word. I don't see her standing on her word. Am I the only boy? Mm. So, Ebony, aka Ivory, you know, she walking around the house. Like I said, you got lip sync for your life upstairs. She crashing out, going on rants. And she ends up throwing a goddamn candle, a heated wax candle. And I said, you know what? That rumor of Ivory throwing PML, whatever she decides to do, I don't care at this point. I don't care at this point because that is getting dangerous. It's getting dangerous. Okay. Because we knew that they was here to fight. But throwing heated wax, oh baby, that's a felony. That that's criminal. You could go to jail for it. That's attempted murder. So I said, Ebony, aka Ivory, whatever you decide to do, go ahead and do it till it's done. Because lip sync for your life, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And then the hoe is so goddamn weak. Like I said, her and Mel, they sitting here going on, um, going on rants and whatnot, crashing out, yelling, oh, we got to get her up out of here. Oh, she keep trying to fight us. And da -da -da -da. Girl, that's what y'all here for. That's exactly what y'all here for. Y'all trying to sit here and vibe. No, no. So eventually, after Mel talks up the mini-me, she decides to go downstairs, but she got switch blades and pots and pans and child razor blades and pepper spray and knives and Goons and gadgets. She got all of that inside of her goddamn pants. I said, little girl, what, how did you fit all of that in there? How did you fit all of that in there? You got security trying to sit there and whisper in her ear. Thank God for the subtitles because I said, why are we keeping secrets? Why are we keeping secrets? Okay, but he ended up saying it again and they finally added the subtitles a little late. And she had some stuff on her because he was like, yo, I got to check you before you fight because what we not about to do, y'all not about to be doing no slicing and dicing up in here. Okay, y'all might have just had pizza, but that's the only only slice that's going to be going on this episode. I said, I know that's right, producer man. Gay producer man. Happy pride. Okay, because he was a little skittle bag. I said, happy pride, producer man. Okay, he was putting his foot down. Putting his foot down. Okay, unlike Lemmy. Child. <laughs> unlike Lemmy. Child, maybe he need to come out the closet. Maybe that's what it is. Mm. Reclaim some of his power. But producer man came out and was just like, nah, we're not doing none of these. We're not doing none of that. So they was just like, okay, well, I don't want to fight. Because lip sync for your life was saying the whole episode, anytime this girl attacked me, I'm going to have something for her. And I said, well, 
just in the ho ho. So ho ho, so ho ho, because she weak. She weak. She can't hang. She weak. Okay. And speaking of people who can't hang, oh, chat. Well, speaking of things that do hang, do y'all see the security guard? Do y'all see that booty on the security guard? <sighs> mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. We love booty. We, 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 woof. Booty is amazing. Male booty. That thing was stinking. That thing was, st I completely had forgot what I was watching the entire episode and my eyes were just focused on him the rest. I was just like, yeah, yeah, he knew, he knew, he knew. Cause even when, even when Lip Sync for Your Life was upstairs crashing out and he was walking by, I was like, oh, look at that. Look at the way they dribble. Look at the way, y'all ain't telling me y'all had a basketball court up in this hoe. Child. Mm. But I mean, whatever. Canadian Bobby decides to go home. Okay, whatever. Bye. Bye, girl. Bye. Bye. I'm glad she decided to go home because he was the one who helped her out. And I got to see this beautiful view. <laughs> and that was the episode. I told you we was going to be here long. Girl, what? What? This is about as long as the episode was. What could you talk about? So we're going to be live later on. Around like 8 o'clock. Okay. Um, live tonight is on live reading. So come and get you one. Come and get you one. Live quick ingredients. Come and get you one. And yeah, patreon.com slash Scott Santana. I'll see y'all hoes in the next one. Bye. <clears throat> Girl, I ain't even got an outro for this. Universal